We live in a day and age when people are staying home more often to take in their movie watching experience. And when you are creating a movie theater setup, the one of the main components is your seating. So in today's tech video, we're going to be unboxing the Valencia theater seats. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, we're going to be assembling the Valencia theater seats. Now Valencia reached out to me, asked me if I would like to take a good look at their chairs and put them to use. So I'm um, partnering with Valencia on this and I'm going to be unboxing and getting these set up and I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me. Now this video is gonna be one of three parts. This is gonna be the unboxing and the setup of these. I am in the process of building a house and creating a theater room. And so I'm gonna be creating a review video and then a three month later video. So. This is part one of three. Uh, this is the unboxing of the Valencia theater seats. Okay, now before I rip these things open or cut the boxes open, they do come on a wooden crate when they do get delivered. A guy brought them here in a pallet jack and he uh, wheeled them in here. Uh, they are pretty heavy. Yeah, they come wrapped in cellophane and they've got this little strap here but let's go ahead and bust these open and see what's inside the box okay so when they sent these out to me they did send me out four different chairs i got a little bit confused though because three of the boxes on here say osseo brown left arm chair so i thought that they sent me three left chairs but as you can see that this box here is bigger than the top box so this one here has Osleo Brown double armchair. So this is the first one. And then these other three boxes are the left armchair. They get connected to this one here. At least that's what I'm assuming. Let's open them up and find out. Okay, upon getting this on the floor, you're able to read the instructions on the top here. What they want you to do is to flip the box over, you'll cut the bottom tape, and then you should be able to pull the box right up just like that, which will then unveil the packaging of the chair. Okay, just at first glance by just ripping off the packaging, right here you'll see that it does have that nice brown leather look here. It's got the controls here on the side, a spot for your cup holder, and then this is kind of an addition if you want to put on a table uh, to slide across. But at first glance, this is what we're looking at on the assembly process. It's got some hookups here and here, and then this the back comes on and off. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take these out inside my house and I'm gonna finish the assembly process inside. Okay, now we have two chairs inside and I wanna show you guys the easy way that these things get assembled and connected together. It's got these metal bars here that you would just then take from here and just slide it back on it. So the back just slides right on, kind of like it does any type of like lazy boy recliner or recliner that you buy. Now, as far as the hookups go, as far as getting any kind of power to it, you'll see that there's only two cables, making it real simple to connect. You got a yellow and gray that connect on there. One's for the headrest, the other's for the lumbar. Then they have a cable here that connects it and plugs it into a regular wall outlet, giving it power. Now this one here is the double arm, so I will hook this one up first. Then the second chair, if you notice, it doesn't have an arm on this side, just an arm on this side. So if you're buying one, two, or three, they would then connect in order. But you hook this one up first, put it all the way to the right as if you're standing on it or standing in front of it, and then the rest of them get connected to the left. So let's go ahead and get them assembled. Okay, I'm gonna connect the cables first before I put the back on and connect them as simple as Plug it in like that. There's another lip here that locks it in place. And cable's connected. The other, just like that. And then locked into place. Now what we'll do is take this off. Okay, so it does give you plenty of room to plug this thing in. Uh, just to kind of give you guys a rough idea, we'll go ahead and put a tape measure to see just how long this power cable is. And it's looking like it's six foot. So you have six foot of room in order to plug 
and get power to your chairs into a wall outlet. Okay, also included in these chairs, they give you these like rubber feet that have a adhesive on one side and then some, it's like a thick, looks like about an eighth of an inch thick padding on here to put on the feet so that way it'll help protect, I don't know, maybe your carpet or keep, if you have a hardwood floor, uh, from sliding. So these are also included. They give you 10 of them. Okay, so the first chair is now assembled just like this. I plugged it in and as soon as I plugged it in, the lights came on right here and then you hit that button there turns on the lights for the cup holders and underneath just like so let's go ahead and get the other one assembled okay now that we have this assembled here it's a matter of just sliding this over to connect these pieces here to make it look like it's dual just like that and there are pretty, I mean, they got some weight to them, so they're pretty heavy. They're, they don't move around once you get them placed in here. Um, but that's what it looks like with just two chairs. Okay, so there's different variations to setting up these chairs. You can get two just like this. Now I have four. These are the two that I have set up. Number three and four will go right next to it. Not in this particular setting. This is my living room. But whenever I get my theater room set up, this is how it's going to work. So uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of a look, we'll go ahead and click this button on here. It turns on the cup holders. We'll clip this button on here. So we have one, two, three cup holders lit. And then underneath, that's gonna look real cool at nighttime with those blue lights underneath here on that brown leather. Now just touching this, I mean, there is a lot of padding on these things. So you're gonna be pretty comfortable sitting in these seats with that brown leather stitching. It just looks real classy, it looks real nice. One of the other really cool features is if you wanna hide your remote control or something right in here, you can do that on just about every armrest that's on here. So that way it's got some storage purposes to put any kind of, well, pretty much junk <laughs> inside there that we all collect. Also on the sides there, there is a USB port in case you wanna charge up your cell phone or any of your electronic devices while you're sitting in the seats, which you, do not, you don't have that available at the movie theaters. Right here in your home movie theater setup, you can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and push the buttons and see just how far they do or how far they go. When you push that first button there, it starts to recline your legs out, starts leaning the back and it almost lays pretty much flat. I mean, you could take a good nap and it just like that. Let's go ahead and recline it back in by pushing the other side. See how fast that it reclines in and out. Now the second button here is the lumbar. So when I push that, you can see it raising out and then push it the other way and it goes back in. And then on the, the last button here on the and you push that, and then you'll see the headrest move. Just like so. So you, it's tailored custom to however you like to be, uh, be positioned or seated whenever you're watching a film. Okay, so that gives you a really good look at what to expect if you buy these Valencia theater seats. Well, if you're interested in getting a couple of these theater seats, I'll have a link in the description down below that'll take you to the Valencia Theater Seating website so you can grab a couple, two, three, or four of these to enhance your movie theater experience. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.